All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is Hara One by Yasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp, located right here in Jacksonville, Florida. Before I begin, I want to say Ka Halayim, La Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Ha'avraka Kodash, Ma'amaf. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and their elders. Shalom to you, Akim, and Akwathim, and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I had to do a few mic checks before I got started with this lesson. Did an uh, hour long lesson yesterday, and come to find out, one of, one of my children or somebody cut my microphone off. <laughs> so you got to always check everything ahead of time. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> I'm sure y'all heard it in the news. They kind of slowly creeping it in there, you know. It's, it's, it's not the main story on the news yet, so that's how you know they're up to something, right? But you're hearing about the M with the P right there from the, you know, I call it the owl, the owl organization. Who? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> The M, that's the new one. Remember, they said uh, there was gonna be a uh, there was gonna be a X that was gonna show up soon, All right? It's called the disease X. I think I can say that. It says, um, "It says what? This is a global health emergency." See that they pushing this whole global mindset. So imagine having the whole globe in a state of fear. Having the whole globe see one death online at the same time. Just like in the um, Roman arena. They can vote on um, persecute somebody like P. Diddy <clears throat> all at once from around the globe, from the internet. If you see, what, if you see what's going on here, the global mindset global fear global governance so now um we knew this was going to happen though we, we especially us in this truth we anticipating them come forward with with something like this and even trump put it out there that this was going to happen before the elections because four years ago this happened around the elections and you see who ended up in office dealing with mail in, mail in ballots you know you had to mail them in because people were at home all right um that could happen again forcing people in their homes lockdowns <clears throat> then they have mail mail in ballots again where, where they can control the narrative and the outcome and the numbers Especially with the migrants here. Wow, that's crazy. So, um, this is more of the confusion. All right? This is more of the, uh, let's get that real quick. All right? This is uh, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Lest Satan, the adversary, should get an advantage of us. Who's us? The elect. The hopeful elect for we are not ignorant of his devices man and of his imaginations that they have against us all right we're not ignorant of it because the lord foretold us about it forewarned us and he also told us in these last days we will be protected from um the wrath of the adversary all right so let's get this this is revelations 3 and 10 because thou has kept the word of my patience. See, if you're keeping the faith, you're staying in the truth, protecting the Lord's word and pushing his word, right, with patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. What's that? The MOTB, the Karagma. That's what this is leading up to. They're setting the stage for it, man. And, and also martial, martial law, civil war. It says, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. 
Now, where did they say the first cases of this new M, you know, what else? M box. <laughs> uh, they said it popped up in the Congo or in Africa somewhere. They always say that, man, <clears throat> right? Then you hear about Bill Gates being over there and all these different globalists being over there experimenting. And we saw this, man. I did a lesson on it years ago where I said this was going to happen. I'm sure you. Where they were pushing. Um, if you go back and watch the first Planet of the Apes and just watch the beginning, just the intro. Just watch the intro. I'm not going to say too much, but I don't want to get my page um, striked. But it says what? Ink, right? Right here. You see that? And you see that? And then they had the uh, the M box. You know, that's what this was called in the movie. All right, so it wasn't really called the M box, but they were calling it something by another name. Uh, but the mindset is of how um, these things were going to happen, which would lead to martial law, civil unrest, and the downfall collapse of a society right around in this time is right around the elections but I did a lesson on this years ago I said yo whoever went down to Egypt for help you know with the you know with with that whoever did it you know they uh, can be activated you know uh I ain't gonna, you know, it's into the M M box. You get what I'm saying? So it can be programmed. If that makes sense. So now it can be a false flag or it can be a real false flag that's coming. All they gotta do is cut on the machines uh, that they put up and activate certain things. And then now you got an outbreak programmed outbreak and remember the movie outbreak and then uh you know so let me get this real quick i can't say too much but check this out but you see they pushing this whole fear level you know it's it's it's, it's uh, been found in the congo and the the owl organization this uh putting it out there saying yeah man this is this is a national emergency. See, worldwide emergency. Well, it says this: <clears throat> Mbox is a infectious viral that can occur in humans and other animals. Sometimes symptoms include a rash that forms blisters, then crusts over, F fever, and swollen lymph nodes. The illness is usually mild, see that? And most of the inv individuals that that catch it, they recover within a few weeks without treatment. So what they talking, you know what they're gonna be trying to push real soon, man. They talking about bringing in NATO to enforce it this time. This is uh, Bill Gates and his people. All right, so now, this is uh, Second Ezra 15 and 5. Behold, saith Yahweh, I will send, bring plagues upon the world, man. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. All right, and that death goes into those uh, also disease warfare. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, man. See, Esau has power over the whole earth. And they're pushing that vibration of wickedness and disorder, order out of chaos and fear and, and Satanism. And they're pushing that over the whole earth. All right. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. Man, see, Esau has a certain level of works they have to do on this earth before the Lord shows up and bring and destroys them. All right. So <clears throat> let me get this. Second Ezra 15 and 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. See that? Two-thirds of our people 
even to Zariac, y'all remember what he did during the lock with the lockdowns. Um, he was the first one to get all poked up. Call we're gonna call him Pokemon. That's <laughs> he was the first one to go. One of the first ones to initially go get it and put it out there, Mister Pokemon. We're gonna call him Pokemon. I mean, he got poked. All right. It says, I will not suffer them to now, now to dwell in the land of Egypt. So this is talking about this. Today, this would land on spiritual Egypt. All right. Spiritually looking at it. So in that time is the time where the Lord going to have to deliver us, man, because we're going to need the Lord. We need him every day. But when the enemy come in rushing like a flood and pushing their devices and uh, d destruct their wrath on everybody, we're going to need Yahweh Bashim It says what? But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm. So the Lord is going to reach out for us all over the earth and deliver us. Alright? So it's gonna, the main deliverance is going to be in America but we're going we're gonna to need deliverance all over the earth even from the holy angels Psalms 91 to protect us from um, all the hell that that's coming upon the earth. But it says what? So he's gonna deliver us with a stretched out arm, and shall smite Egypt with plagues, as before, and will destroy all the land thereof. Remember what the Lord did? He made a separation between the Israelites and the Egyptians. So in these last days, in this spiritual Egypt, America, the Lord is making a separation between the wicked and his elect all right um egypt shall mourn so this place is going to mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that yahweh shall bring upon it see that so so it's going to be more all right um that's right 14 woe to the world and them that dwell therein let's get this real quick Right, so Revelation 6 and 8. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse. All right. And his name that sat on him was was death. See that? So who is that? That's these devils, man. These elites that's bringing these, these fear tactics. False flags, right? Pale horse that represents uh, sickness and plague. All right, uh, this ease, you get it? Death and death and hell follow with him, meaning wherever he he enlarges his desires, death and hell shall follow, man. So their new desire is to rule the world. So this is how they want to rule it with death and destruction and fear. And power was given unto them over the four part of the earth now right there it's actually plural it will say four parts of the earth meaning the whole earth Esau don't just have rulership over America <clears throat> it's talking about the four parts of the earth so he'll give him power over the whole earth to bring these um, scare tactics I'll say alright to kill with the sword you see it's happening all around the world not just in America and with hunger and with death that's those diseases and with the beast of the earth alright that goes into it as well alright um, so of course Esau can use these animals against people but also look what they say happened in China with the bats and all that shit you see that so Esau got weird ways of using these animals and nature against the people as well with the weather the machines right now you got allergies allergy season coming because right now there's a uh, the, there's a heat dome that just pa that's passing over and also um, uh, it's gonna be a cold front that just came in yesterday see the weather patterns shifting and there was a, just a mag uh, a, a geomagnetic storm from the sun 
Then you had a coronal mass ejection right before that during the time around the hurricanes that just passed. So all of these things can cause what? Allergies. Look it up. All right. So you're going to see that. You're going to hear a lot of people sneezing soon. You know, all these different things. But yeah, man, uh, let's keep going. Because it's going to come upon all the world. Why? All right. So it said, woe to the world. All right. Revelations 12 and 12. Therefore, rejoice, ye heavens. See, the angels are rejoicing. And the elect that are in heaven are rejoicing. Because we're about to get the kingdom. And ye that dwell in them. All right, even us on this earth that's in, in the truth, we have um, our conversations in heaven, right? Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, okay, and of the sea. So it's about all over the earth, man. Not just America, but all over the world. These devils gonna wreak their havoc in these last days to 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 bring in World War Three, world dominance, world government, world religion. All right, they want a, a world full of fear, a world full of turmoil, turmoil, a world full of debt. They want a worldly community to where everybody is in the same mindset through the internet. Meta. All right, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, man. All right, they're seeking whom, whom they can devour. And the Lord gave them that great wrath. It's their last time to show out. So they're coming down with a great wrath, and they're going to come in rushing like a flood, with the Lord going to lift up a standard against them, saying, Touch not mine anointed. Do mine elect no harm. Be because he knoweth that he have but a short time. See, they know the end is coming. They're losing their grip. They're losing their power in the earth. And you see, Russia and, and um, these other heathen nations are raising up against the West. So they're pushing their agenda. Look at the Democrats. Look what they did. Look at Biden. Look at Kamala. Look at all these different shenanigans they're pushing, man. Look at the shooting with Trump. Look at the levels they're willing to go to to keep that control and that power. Why? Because they're Satanists. They want to push that agenda. Look at the Olympics. All of this is happening. Look what happened when Obama was in office. What, what did he sign into place with the rainbow? Look at Biden, what he's been pushing and allowing and taking pictures with and videos with, standing next to him at the podium and shit like that. Was, uh, you know. So anyway, this is what they're bringing on the earth, that satanic mindset order out of chaos so they're bringing that chaos so they can try to start that new world order and they're running out of time too so towards the end of this year just know that clock is ticking for them and they, they're going to be on crunch time we say we say what these youngins say nowadays they're going to be on demon time yeah he's all going to be on demon time yeah as he should too that's what they on they're going to be on the real demon time because right, they know he got a short time <laughs> to make their move. So now, second as of 16 and 17, woe is me, woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? So Ezra is here right now, all right, uh, back on this earth. The beginning of sorrows, man, and those sorrows come from a lot of death, plagues, murders, whatever, all right? And great mornings is coming. You know, Elder Pastor R always said it in the past, it's gonna be a lot of death real soon. You know, scriptures say the slain of the Lord shall be many. The beginning of famine and great death, man. All right, look what happened four years ago when they were pushing the lockdown, you know the other one. All the deaths that happened in those hospitals. All right. You, and you think about now they have a plan to cause even more deaths depopulation the beginning of wars we're the beginning of it and the powers shall stand in fear we're, and we're witnessing the powers 
and the rulers begin to stand in fear all right they f and they fear um those global elites they fear each other which like russia and um and america um the beginning of evils what shall i do when these evils shall come so yeah how can you prepare for this you see them doing they pre preppers trying to prepare for it how can you prepare for what for this type of battle you know disease warfare whatever um world war three martial law lockdowns judgment from you how about you the missiles so who will deliver us what shall I do in these evils us we're going to wait on the Lord and trust in Yahweh by Shem behold famine and plagues tri tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment but for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness nor be always mindful of the scourges you see that so even the last one that just happened they was like yeah man with the lockdowns this was a time where everybody can sit down this was god sitting you down trying to get your attention yeah man that's right maybe you would have saw an israelite video and got the truth while you were sitting your ass down not running around the streets and clubs and shit and they were forced to sit down during these lockdowns people was going crazy on the internet that's what got a lot of these people on the internet and you know the internet jobs really started booming around that time that's part of the plan all right usually with sheep you scare them with fear and then you run them through a door or a window you know the internet so uh where was that verse 21 behold victuals the food shall be so good cheap upon the earth you can still go out to diners you can still go out to restaurants it might be expensive but people got money to pay it taking their women out well, you know when you buy me to eat you're like bro you see what's going on in the world it rise up you women that are at ease man all right for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of the famine so like it behold victuals shall be so good cheap upon the earth that they shall, shall think themselves to be in good case, man. See, that's the delusion. All right, so the Lord said that. Uh, these idiots shall believe the lies that are pushed in this society. All right, because what? It said, uh, my family might get that right to this. Hopefully I don't forget it. But it says what? And even then shall the evils grow upon the earth sword famine and great confusion all right so um for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of the famine and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy and the dead shall be cast out as dung and there shall be no man to comfort them for the earth shall be wasted and the city shall be cast down Whew, that's what's coming man but think about um what was that movie with will smith it was I can always forget the name of it, but him and the, and the dog. Uh, all right, so that's what time we in. Remember this movie? Remember the dog? <laughs> all right, so yep, yep. Remember what the CDC put out there? Prepare for um, zombie. Apocalypse. All right. So, time to get your mind right, man. Get your mind ready. Fortify yourself and your household. All right. So, Second Thessalonians two and eight, and then shall that wicked be revealed, man. So they wicked as hell, man. Esau. And they're being revealed. They're revealing their hand. They're, they're revealing that they're coming down with that great wrath, the devil, 
The Lord is letting you know who they is by their actions and by the prophets. He says, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, man. So he's consuming them with us out here teaching his truth. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So when Yahweh Shah shows up, he's going to physically destroy them. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. So whenever Esau moves and makes a move, he enlarges his desires as hell. And, and they're Satan. They're the adversary. All right. With all power. See, he says coming down with great wrath and power was given unto him. You know, to, to bring death and hell upon the earth. So with all power and signs and lying wonders. All right, prophecies, man. So whenever Esau make a move, it's, it's according to prophecy. When they bring in a new world order or pushing these fear tactics, that's prophecy, that's a sign that their judgment day is coming and they're running out of time. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness, so everything they pushing, all right, with all deceivableness, man, all of it, all of it, all of it, man, all deceivableness and unrighteousness, man, on the left hand side. Okay. All right, so. And with verse 10, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, man, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved from these damn lies and from the wrath of Esau. See, we got to be saved from it. All right. So if they receive the truth, they would know how to dispel and, and um, fight off the lies. People like Tazariac, Pokemon. Captain Crunch I, of the ISUPK. Also, those over there at IUIC that lined up for it. You know what I'm talking about. Four years ago, lockdown day. They, they lined up for it. You know? Um, they say, gotta catch them all, right? Yeah, Pokemon. Well, shit. Uh, because they received not the love of the truth. They, they did receive the truth about the MOTB you, you, you get it so they didn't receive that truth so there's a lot that's going to lead to that in Revelation 13 16 so now and for this cause Yahweh shall send them strong delusion that's why I said what people shall think themselves to be in good case That's because this is really all about the Most High's judgment. All right. Um, and two thirds of our people, they rejected the truth. So now they fall for the lies. It says what? And for this cause, Yahweh shall send them strong delusion. So they won't be able to fight it off, man. He going to push you to the left. He said he'd rather be cold or hot. If you're warm, he in the middle straddling the fence he gonna spew you out of his mouth and push you into the group with the destroyed and the deceived <clears throat> and the de delusional people and for this cause Yahweh shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie and who's pushing the lies Esau and you gonna see Jake out here believing it just know that the most high got them under delusion so they can be destroyed that they might that they all might be damned damned for destruction who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness see they forget that man he said even though the scourges for amendment are sent they're still not going to be mindful of all their ways and repent alright so they had pleasure in this wicked ass place but they're going to reap the fruit of their own way they're going to reap the fruit of their unrighteousness all right they had pleasure in it and they didn't want to hear the truth man and now the lies are being pushed out all over the internet they don't know what the hell going on out here it's crazy man all right, so yeah we are not ignorant of satan's devices man because we believe the truth 
and the Lord doesn't have us under delusion. Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow, the protection of the Almighty. See that? And the shadow represents his protection and covering. So we're looking for Yahweh to protect us and cover us. That's the truth. And we dwell in the secret place. That's in this truth, man, in the presence of the Lord. And I will say of Yahweh that he is our refuge and our fortress and our safe house. For my power in him will I trust, man. See that? We don't trust in Egypt. We don't trust in this in this place, man, or trust in man. The our organization, you know. We don't trust IUIC and all these people that's like it's cool, man. The Lord got you. Just go ahead and do it, and you'll be all right. He's gonna protect his elect. It's like yeah, he's gonna protect you by keeping you from that hour of temptation. He's gonna protect you by keeping you from trusting in Egypt and and becoming a damn Pokemon. All right, I will say of Yahweh, He is my refuge, not America, not the not the Hooty Hoos organization, not the global elites, not the news, but Yahweh. In him will I trust, man. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. So it's a trap that Esau is bringing. Everything they're doing is a trap. Even raising the interest rates on the dollar is a trap. Switching everybody over to digital or blockchain or Bitcoin. All these things are traps. This this initial announcement that they put all over the world with the M-Box. Goes into those snares. All right, the fowler. Fowler is someone, that, a hunter that catches birds. The scriptures tell you that Esau is that cunning hunter. And they're set up to try to catch the bird, the speckled bird, Israel. All right. And from the noisome pestilence. Okay. Uh, now it says, And he shall cover thee with his feathers. So the Lord going to cover you with his uh with his holy angels he's gonna give them charge over you and under his wings so under the chariots just like when we left out of Egypt shalt thou trust see we're gonna trust in the protection we're gonna look to the hill from which cometh our help not from all these other hills we're gonna look to Yahweh Bashem Shai. his truth shall be our shield and buckler see the fact that you believed in the truth and you trusted Yahweh that's what's gonna keep you safe from the wrath of the Most High. All right, the Lord is going to put a mark of exemption on you. He said, for those that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. But two-thirds of our people, they had pleasure in that unrighteousness. See, they, they believe the lies. Us, we believe the truth. All right, so it said, the scriptures say that, man. Uh, wisdom uh, can make a wise man uh, mad. It says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by noonday. All right, by day, so like it. All right, the terror by night. What's that? Martial law, gangs, troops. All these things that can happen, robbers that can happen that, that go bump in the night. You know, power outages, weather atrocities, whatever. So, nor for the arrow that flies by day. That goes all up until the last moment of destruction. The Lord said he protect you all up until that point and after that. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. Because after that arrow that flies by day, there's not going to be anything to fear anymore. For the, for the children, the elect of Israel. And it says what? It says, nor for the pestilence that goes into what they're talking about now that walketh in darkness meaning you can't see it something unseen you know but it's, it's either lied to you and saying that it's there and you can't see it or it's just there and you can't see it like a disease alright for the destruction 
nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. So at the climax of this war, that uh, the destruction, the Lord said what? At destruction and famine and death, ye shall laugh. All right? Because thou hast made, so like in verse 7, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand. This is on the day of salvation. The elect are going to go up and see the destruction happening to thousands and thousands of people. But it shall not come nigh to thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked of their path, man. So when these motherfuckers walking up the street itching and scratching and shit, itchy and scratchy. All right, looking like a damn Nestle Crunch bar and shit, dots all over them. You know that you know what path they chose. <laughs> because thou hast made Yahweh, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Think about it, man. Yeah, you're gonna have your common colds and your flu, whatever, but you're going to um, have vegetables and herbs to handle that. You know, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of that time. And the Lord shall say he shall compass thee as with a shield. All right. So there shall no evil befall thee in the, in the time of judgment. Now, if the Lord takes somebody off the earth, that's in the truth. The Lord really having um, could be having mercy on that individual too, bringing them home. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. So don't fear, man. What these, the, the Lord did not give us the spirit of fear. All right. All we got to do is walk in the light, walk in the truth. And anticipate salvation. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. All right. So that's our hope. All right. So Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might, put on, in the truth, man, put on the whole armor of Yahweh. I mean, a study to show yourself approved. Put on the whole armor. Just go there, man. Go um, super saiyan in this truth, man. All right, stop walking around sad and bogged down. You know, just do the work and be in the spirit, man. Know what the Lord is about to do. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh. All right, so you got study to show yourself approved. Understanding the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. That ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. See that? See, two thirds are not going to have any protection, any covering. They won't be able to stand in the evil day. They won't be able to stand against the trickery and the lies of the devil, man. The wiles. All right? Uh, like trickery. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So it ain't just about the the faces that you see on the screen. It's about the mindset and the spirit behind these devils that they're pushing that spirit of delusion, of derision, and of death and lies. But against principalities, see? Against the powers, meaning the world powers, against the rulers, the dark rulers of this world. That's what it says. That's what it means. Against spiritual wickedness in high places, meaning the wicked people that rule in high places on this earth. So that's what we're battling against. These people are Satanists, man. And they're pushing their agenda on the left hand side. So the Lord told us this Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil days. See, that it's something that we, we got to fight off right now. This is the time. Where they're pushing out the lies, man. The deception. To try to wheel people into the oven. The sheep. Two-thirds are led as the sheep to the slaughter. That ye may be able to stand, to withstand in the evil day. Just like Yahawashai withstood the devil when it was in the time of Yahawashai's temptation, his trial. When the devil showed up, the Lord rebuked him with the spirit of truth. And that's what we're here to do and to resist and to withstand build our, po our house upon a rock not upon sand right that was a bar but still 
and having done all to stand man see that and we got to do all, everything it takes to stand in this truth to stand um, to withstand just like a tree has to dig its roots real deep to withstand the winds to withstand the water to withstand the birds that come and pluck at it and eat at it to withstand um, the heat without its leaves withering so we have to dig our roots real deep we have to plant ourselves by the water still water like the Lord said that's his truth we have to soak up all the nutrients in the water the word the wisdom alright um, so when all hell breaks loose our tree won't fall from the wind our house won't fall from the wind and the heat stand therefore having your loins girded with about with truth man and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shy with the preparation of the gospel of peace that's what we're supposed to be doing in this time spiritual warriors tearing down the lies right above all taking the shield of faith so you're gonna have to have faith while they're pushing that fear we fight fear with truth and faith man wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked they're gonna be shooting darts at you and even in the end that word dart goes into missile if you look it up something that projectile that you throw so he shall be throwing policies at us lies at us deception right let me see let me try this one let's try this poison throw that at him see if it worked all right let's throw this at him now no that ain't work okay that got him now they scared but then ultimately the lord said what no weapon formed against thee shall prosper so they got them fiery darts too the missiles <laughs> they're gonna throw those and that even the lord said we're gonna be able to quench those as well all right and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of Yahweh, man. You see that? So that's right, man. So um, he said that what? That truth shall be thy shield and buckler. All right. Um. So with that, man, look, check this out. Yeah, man. What was that movie? Don't believe the hype. Yeah. So with that, I'm gonna say uh, shalom and just get ready, man, and fortify yourself, fortify your mind. He said, gird up the loins of your mind. All right. And uh, with that, I'm going to say uh, Shalom.